Hi, in this video today, we're going to look at the Christmas song, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and we're going to reharmonize it. We're going to take it away from its basic harmony of one and five and put in a lot of chromatic chords. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you some very simple and effective ways to jazz up your Christmas songs this year. We're going to look at the first eight bars of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So let's look at the melody with the original harmony first. In the key of C, we're only going to have two chords, C and G7. C. G7. Back to C. Okay. So with reharmonization, what we're trying to do is find a new way of getting from the beginning of the phrase to the end of the phrase. We're gonna just use uh, the first eight bars as a phrase here. Reharm, we want an element of surprise, okay? So the ways I start off with reharmonizing a melody like this with such simple harmony is to reharmonize with an established bass line, okay? That established bass line can be chromatic, could be diatonic. There are many, many ways of reharmonizing. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use a bass line that ascends chromatically. So it's going to start on C and work its way up. Etc. Okay. With reharmonization, sometimes we want to start from the end of the phrase and work our way back. We want a target chord and we want a resolution. So at bar eight, we want to have a resolving chord of C. So at the bar before it, bar seven, we're going to approach it with its two, five, one. This is going to create counterpoint between melody and the bass line. So I'm going to play the melody now of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer with my ascending chromatic bass line. Seven, two, five, one. So now we have a complete resolution. And you could have heard that somewhere within that eight bar phrase, there was some tension there. There was some sounds that was like, oh, that's not supposed to be there. That's your element of surprise. So now we have this beautiful counterpoint between the melody and the bass line. So we're basically building this reharm from the ground up, so to speak, with this bass line. What we're going to do now is fill in the middle part, the harmony, finding chords that work with the melody and the root note, okay? The first chord is easy. It's a C and a C major seven works just perfectly through here. So I'm gonna talk you through some of the choices, why I chose particular chords that work with the melody and that bass line. So we've got C major seven. Now here, Beautiful C sharp diminished chord works. It's in the chord, the melody is in the chord, and it all sounds just pretty. So from the C, C sharp diminished, D minor seven, E flat seven. Okay? Now that's the first two bars. We're gonna keep going, just the next two bars. We've got E, so E minor seven. F nine, okay? Not an F seven per se, but go right up, right up to that ninth. So we hear that melody note. And then here is the most gorgeous part, F sharp diminished, but it will resolve to a G seven. Isn't that lovely? You hear that tension, but it resolves. Okay, so another important factor that I haven't yet spoken about, when we're reharmonizing songs and we're putting more chords in um, uh, it's very simple harmony, we're going to look at uh, chords that move, okay? And chords that move are generally our dominant seventh chords. Diminished chords as well, okay? 
Uh, so you're going to see more of dominant sevenths and diminished chords, less major seven chords. Major seven chords cement the song. They, they put it down in place so they can halt the reharm. And the whole point of reharmonizing is that element of surprise. We want things to keep moving. So let's just look at those first four bars one more time and we'll go to the next four bars. C. All right, our bass line is still coming up. We're up to A flat now. Here I'm going to make it A flat minus six. Gives a bit of darkness to the Christmas song. A7 sus4. Here's our beautiful diminished chord again. But it resolves to the B. Alright, so this is at bar 5 and 6 of Rudolph, where we're up to A flat. And we already know what's going to happen in the last two bars. We've got our jazz cadence of the 2, 5, 1. So I'll play the whole eight bar reharm. In this final bar, bar eight, even though we have this resolution chord of the C, we all know that the song continues. So instead of doing a, a complete resolution to the major seven chord, we can continue that with a jazz turnaround, a three, six, two, five. You can put in some tritone substitutions there as well if you like. It's an excellent, effective reharm tool as well. So just those last two bars now, but instead of going to the one chord, I'm going to go three, six, two, five. That takes us back to another phrase of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So from bar seven. And we all know where that wants to take us, and that's back to C. Okay. And now for a bonus, for your next eight bars, before the melody changes, you could do the same thing, but the bass line descends. You can get some. Some pretty crunchy sounds in here. All right, last two bars, two, five, one. If you liked this video, please hit subscribe to see more videos coming out in the new year. Please feel free to leave a comment on your favorite songs to reharmonize, whether they're Christmas songs or not. And I wish you all a happy and safe Christmas and holiday season.